apparently there is a, another element there in the periodic table of elements, Chuck Norium, or so claims Josh Holmes from Microsoft. Now, Josh, we're here at OpenCam. Yes. And you are representing Microsoft. Yes. Well, not only representing, I'm actually a, an official blue badge of the whole nine yards. Wow. So, yes. But wait a minute. OpenCamp's all about open source software. So what is Microsoft doing here? That would be, uh, that, that would be a quandary, wouldn't it? Uh, that would be a good question. Uh, so th the reality is, is that, uh, that open source and Microsoft are actually not uh, opposed to each other. Uh, there are definitely products that compete with each other, et cetera. You know, so if you look at you know, Linux and Windows, they're, they're definitely head-to-head -head competitors and so on and so forth. Um, you know, but the reality is, is that end of the day, uh, if you look at a lot of the different web technologies, so uh, WordPress, um, uh, .NET Nuke, uh, which is a .NET uh, CMS solution, they're competing back and forth, but they all run really, really well in Windows. Uh, in fact, that has become, over the last three, four years, a real focus of the Internet Explorer team, I'm sorry, not Internet Explorer, Internet Information Server, IIS team, is making sure that PHP runs as well or better on Windows than it does on the Linux side of the world. So Microsoft actually supports a lot of conferences, or open conferences, you know, that are related to these programming languages that aren't owned by Microsoft. Yes, yes. Uh, in fact, uh, if you go to a Joomla Days in the U.S., uh, there's one in New York, one in D.C., those are going to be held probably at Microsoft offices. Um, we had a big presence at uh, the, the DrupalCon over in Copenhagen because uh, we actually partnered with the Commerce guys to do uh, SQL Server support for Drupal. Um, WordPress, you know, we're working very closely with them. They were actually uh, at our PDC, the Pre Professional Developers Conference. Matt actually got up on stage and introduced one of the guys from the Cheeseburger Network guys. And, uh, Scott Porad? I, I think or so. Or Ben? Yeah, I, I bet you it was Scott. I can't, I can't remember. I'm not going to... I'm not going to make a decision, you know, make a definite claim on sure, that one. Sure, sure. But if you go to oddlyspecific.com, that's actually WordPress running against SQL Server in Azure, which is our cloud hosting uh, solution. And you know, if you go to oddlyspecific.com, you'll see it's nice and snappy and so on and so forth. But we have got a lot of great platforms, and with, with Azure, our cloud hosting solution, um, with, with Windows and IIS. Um, I think oh, a boat a is coming bell. in somewhere that is a here. very loud bell. Yes, I would say. So if you uh, had anything to say to someone who would claim that Microsoft doesn't believe in <laughs> open source software, what would you say to them? Uh, I, would, I would say that, that uh, you know, there, there's historical context for that. I mean, I'm not going to lie. You know, there, there, there's a, um, uh, you know, a lot of bad blood in the past, um, but I'd like to take a, a new look at Microsoft and, and see that uh, the reality is, yes, we compete head-to-head -head with certain products in the open source community. And where we compete, we compete hard. And, and that's, and that's you know, it doesn't matter if you're open source or not, we compete hard in wherever we happen to have a, have a competing product. You know, so, so with our office suite, we're competing very hard with any other office-like suite out there, whether it's an open source one or not. And the, you know, in the web solutions, you know, we compete hard in a lot of different places. So Josh, if anybody had any questions, how would they get a hold of you? So they can get a hold of me by going to my blog at joshholmes.com. They can email me at josh.holmes at microsoft.com. They can find me on Twitter at Josh Holmes. They can find me on Facebook at Josh Holmes. It's a, catch a pattern a little bit. Yeah, I, I think they could find yeah. you somewhere on the web. But to sum up very shortly, we've thrown a lot of weight and a lot of work into supporting um, uh, any of the web stack, not just PHP, but ASP.NET as well. Um, and they're in, what I'm demoing here quite a bit is uh, the web platform installer, which gets things up and running very quickly, uh, very stably. Uh, my talk here uh, tomorrow is actually on scaling WordPress on the Microsoft stack. Uh, so, you know, if, if you are interested in any of that, please reach out to me, um, and, and I'd love to, uh, to, to work with you. Thanks again, Josh. Thank you.